do you throw in the towel on your intuitive eating journey if you feel that you've made a mistake or if you're faced with an obstacle or a challenge in your path? That's the topic of today's Diet Free Zone show. Hi, I'm Bonnie Geller, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and certified intuitive eating counselor. Now, this might sound very familiar to you. You're moving along your way on whatever quote unquote plan you're on, diet plan that might be, and you make a mistake. You fell off the wagon, right? These are all words of a dieter, and you throw in the towel and you say, forget it. This doesn't work. It never will work. And you kind of go about your day, your weeks, your months until you decide, I got to go on another diet. Are you used to throwing in the towel? Have you started your intuitive eating journey and maybe find it a little bit challenging and have resorted to this old habit of throwing in the towel? Have you tried intuitive eating and have said it just doesn't work? Well, let me share a little bit about my thoughts around obstacles. My belief is that obstacles are opportunities for us to succeed in a new effort. Now, this came to me many, many years ago when I was uh, teaching and was the director of a dietetic internship program in the New York metro area. And every year I would have graduating dietetic interns and I would, you know, have to give that graduation speech. And as I remember the sitting very, the very first time writing up this graduation speech, I was thinking about, you know, these interns are going out into the world. They're going to get their first jobs as a registered dietitian. There are going to be obstacles in their path. And what message do I want to give them? I want to let them know, don't let these obstacles knock you down. These obstacles are there for you to grow. They are opportunities for you to succeed in a new effort. But what does it take? Perspective. It's all in your perspective. And we could kind of bring that into this work we're doing here on our intuitive eating journey. You've made the commitment to stop dieting. You've given it up. You said, yes, this intuitive eating makes a lot of sense. Maybe you thought it would be an easy journey and it's a little bit harder or a lot harder than you anticipated. How you choose to look at things will make the difference in your journey. How you decide to approach an obstacle will determine how daunting this will be for you to overcome. I believe that you can overcome every obstacle and challenge that comes in your path. What is your perspective on that? How you choose to see things will make all the difference. There will always be events or circumstances that will challenge you in your intuitive eating journey and in life. But the mental perspective that you take towards them makes the difference between struggle and success. You get to choose how you want to respond to an obstacle and a challenge. You can choose to focus on the parts of your current situation or that particular challenge that seems to be just such a major obstacle, a boulder in your path, the things that you can't do, the limitations that you have, etc. Or while acknowledging the challenges, hey, yeah, this is just a little harder than I thought, or this is a challenge I didn't necessarily expect would come, you can choose to focus on the things that you do have, the things that you can do, that you can be grateful for, and you get to decide how you want your focus to be, how you want to focus on this particular situation that, believe it or not, might be hiding an opportunity in there for growth. One is an approach of contraction and closing off. And the other is an approach of openness 
and expansion. One is a mindset of lack, focus on ob obstacles. And one is a mindset of abundance, focus on opportunities that are awaiting for you. Sometimes, and this is, I'm being honest with you, you've got to look a little harder to find those opportunities. But I truly, truly believe that there are opportunities to be found in every challenge and obstacle that you might face on your journey. Again, it's all about perspective. So the big question here is, how do you go about shifting your perspective? So first off, flip this obstacle around. This event, this obstacle, this challenge that you initially are viewing as negative does contain a hidden benefit if you look for it. Now, my clients will tell you that Bonnie always finds the positive in everything because I do firmly believe that there is a positive in every challenge that we have. So for example, let's just take emotional eating. Somebody is working on overcoming emotional eating, the destructive type of emotional eating where food is their number one thought and go to every time they have a difficult, uncomfortable emotion and they're using it to numb out, to sedate themselves, perhaps even for punishment purposes. And they've worked hard to really create a toolbox of strategies and food might be one of them, but there's many other strategies in there to deal with those uncomfortable, difficult emotions. And they're also learning how to feel feelings. Now, here they are like, wow, look at me. I'm really uh, managing emotions with kindness and self-compassion and not in a destructive pattern with food. And all of a sudden, bam, they find themselves falling back into this old habit of using food. So at first sight, whoa, this is a challenge for me. And you stop bashing and talking bad about yourself. And all of a sudden you're like, I can't believe it. What a challenge. I thought I overcame this, but hold on, put the brakes on. If you look deep enough, you're going to find a positive in this. Now you may think I'm a little nuts to, add, to say this. So what's the positive in this example? The positive is that because you dealt with destructive emotional eating and because you were able to learn to identify these emotions, to identify what you truly needed, to learn strategies to manage them, to feel feelings, etc., you're now able to see and pick up on emotional eating when it happens sooner rather than later. Somebody who's never dealt with it, who's never worked through the process, may not recognize this until they're days, weeks, months into using food in this destructive pattern. They may not come up to really explore this. But if you find that you've navigated emotional eating, you've learned all these strategies, and all of a sudden you find yourself doing it again, that's a red flag. And that will help you to sit back and to say, hmm, I wonder what's going on. And then recognize that perhaps you're dealing with something in life now that you've never had to learn how to create a strategy for. Like this is a brand new something that's going on. Or it might be a little sign to say that, oh, my life is a little out of balance. It's off kilter. This is why I say there is a blessing in that. And there is a positive. Another example is you've been working really hard to reject the diet mentality. And now that you are aware of your diet mentality and you're aware of the food police and you're aware of how sneaky the diet mentality is, you're beginning to recognize it in other people. And what's the benefit there? What's the positive is that you are way more aware of how the sneaky diet mentality shows up and you're able to challenge it. So this is a complete mental flip, right? Seeing through the negative and getting to the positive. It's actually fun when you start to practice this. 
Remember, always continue to move forward. There's no option to stop moving forward. Do not let this obstacle push you down. Remind yourself, this obstacle is here for a reason. There's a lesson for me to be to learn from it. And from that lesson, I'm going to continue to grow. Remind yourself, there's no such thing as failure. Seriously, my clients know that I always talk about that, right? We're humans. We're going to be wrong every now and again. We're going to make a mistake. That's okay. But each time that happens, new options and lessons learned open up for you. And that's how these problems, these challenges, these obstacles flip into opportunities for you. So I also want to make sure you remind yourself about thinking about progress, not perfection. The intuitive eating journey definitely has bumps in the road. I mean, I actually tell my clients, I want you to have those bumps in the road. When you have those bumps in the road, you learn so much more than smooth sailing. But always remind yourself there is no perfection. There's no perfection in intuitive eating. There's no perfection in life. You're making progress as you work to learn more about who you are. Learn about yourself from the inside out. You're making progress. Remind yourself, progress, not perfection. All right, I want to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below what obstacles and challenges you've had on your intuitive eating journey that you've able, been able to flip into a positive and a learning experience and growth. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please like this video, share with those who you think can benefit as well. And don't forget to check out all the resources I have for you over on my website, dietfreeradiantme.com. That's it for this episode of the Diet Free Zone Show. I'll see you in the next video.